Hey folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. Got another show coming up. So uh, we're gonna pack up a truck and uh, trailer it up to an event about a half hour away and uh, get the vehicle all set up for display there. So uh, they're doing a cars and coffee type of uh, show and uh, we wanna be able to take the truck up there and show it off. So uh, we're gonna work on doing that, but First, before we do that, um, we gotta get stuff organized for the truck to take for the show. Uh, I gotta get all the mannequins, all the display pieces. We get all that organized. Uh, and to do that, one of the things we need to do is it's that time of year we need to play garage Jenga uh, and move army trucks around from one side to the other. So um, uh, the ambulance, uh, I can move now. Uh, I have the one day cleared out, my son's Got his truck finished up and out of there so I can move my ambulance back into that far bay which allows me to move the Jeep and have all kinds of extra room so that I'm not tripping over myself it feels like every time I'm uh, moving around on something so so first we're gonna go ahead play a little uh, army truck Jenga and, uh, and then we'll start prepping out for the event so stick around that's what's coming up here on Green Iron TV like always give us a like leave a comment Hit the subscribe button down below um, and always make sure you check out the uh, link down below for the Green Iron TV merchandise store. Um, there's all kinds of cool things, t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts. So check that stuff out. Uh, it always helps uh, every little bit. So uh, we appreciate all you guys that have been buying stuff out of the merch store. So sit back. That's what's going to happen today. First things first, we gotta get the ambulance over into the other bay. Next, we'll get the M38 moved over. Look at all this open room now. I got room to square dance. But I'm not. 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start gathering up some of the display items for the 715 because that is the vehicle we're going to take to this uh, event. So I got uh, quite a bit of stuff that I display with it. Uh, I, you know, we have the mannequins, we have sandbags, we have gun, uh, all kinds of display pieces. So in an effort to uh, make things a little easier on myself, I'll start gathering all that stuff up uh, beforehand, make sure I got it all together organized and uh, that way it can be loaded into uh, my tow truck or my tow vehicle and uh, when we load this on the trailer and get it up there so we'll start gathering so one of the first pieces we always make sure we gather uh, and to, to take along so I have these display signs made uh, these look like the, you know, similar to the data plates that are in the truck. Uh, they give all the information and so forth. Um, these work really well because, let's face it, the general public doesn't know a lot about these vehicles. So having these display boards, um, I usually have them sitting by the front wheel of the truck. I put a sandbag on it, keep it weighted down from flying away, uh, keep people from kicking them. But it just really helps. Uh, the general public get an idea of what this vehicle is. So we definitely need that. Of course, we have our display M60 with ammo belt. So we want to make sure we gather that up. Of course, my super heavy sandbags. We talked about these on uh, one of the other episodes. So they are just standard military uh, sandbags filled with styrofoam peanuts and then there are magnets attached to the inside of them which basically helps keep these from blowing away in the wind. And of course we have a nice uh, display set of uh, M56 gear. Uh, that we uh, hang on the truck for display. Of course we have the boys. So uh, I have the three mannequins. We call them Huey, Dewey, and Louie. All dressed out in a full combat load. This one here uh, I set up. He's set to uh, hold on to the 50 cal. So he's my 50 cal gunner. My vehicle driver mannequin. Lastly, our M60 gunner. And of course, plenty of items like helmets and whatnot. First, one of the things that you know we always put in the vehicle for display. So this is a vintage uh, 1969 Playboy. So we always put that in there, and then uh, do have my transistor radio, which is up at the house, because um, that's you know we keep it up there to keep it charged and keep the MP3 player charged up in it. Uh, see what else do we got? Probably got a couple spare bandoliers hanging around here that we'll take, throw in the truck. Uh, and of course, the important thing to remember when going to a show like this, don't forget to grab yourself a nice folding chair, a nice comfortable one. Uh, make sure you pack that, so that's always important. So, uh, other than that, I think that's probably going to be the majority of what I take for this show. Um, it's not because it's not a full military show. 
Uh, I'll do something, you know, I won't go as over the top military as I would at a normal military show. Uh, it'll be, you know, something a little more, a little more reserved and uh, a little more for the general public, so. Okay, that takes care of quite a bit of all the stuff for the display on the vehicle. Uh, in preparation for getting ready to trailer it, we will be taking the uh, the two backpacks off the side, the radio, take the 50 cal down, uh, and be able to pack it up, uh, put it on the trailer. That way, uh, none of that stuff gets damaged at highway speeds. Plus, we don't want the 50 cal up there just to we don't want to scare all the Karens on the highway. Um, and of course, I still have a few things up the house to go with this. So uh, I have my restoration book, uh, which documents the restoration of this vehicle. I always like to take that to the shows. Um, and then I do take a couple of the national awards uh, and display with the truck, basically letting people know that this, this truck is a national show winner. Um, I also have my uh, military vehicle uh, hall of fame uh, placard so I'll you know take that and attach that to the vehicle um, you know hey I might as well get recognition while I can get recognition so uh, you know we usually hang that stuff off to display it uh, and then uh, it should make for a really nice display um, this is a first time show up and up near us uh, I hope it's a good show weather looks like it's supposed to be beautiful uh, it's been hot as hot as hell here the last few days um, and, and luckily it looks like it's supposed to cool off into the uh, you know the mid 70s which would be a far cry from the the 90s that it's been the last couple days uh, and uh, that should make for a good show uh, so I plan on uh, you know get into the show we'll get set up we'll take some video uh, we'll walk around the show get some video and then they do have a playing crew so there uh, there is a cruise so we'll uh, we'll make sure we snatch up and film uh, film the cruise and uh, see what kind of reactions uh, this vehicle gets uh, taking it to a regular car show I laugh because uh, you know Sometimes you get really cool reactions, and sometimes you get kind of funky reactions. Uh, I call it snubbed by the chrome and polish crowd. Uh, when you pull in in a military vehicle, and uh, you know all the old guys in their uh, in their uh, white New Balances are out there uh, polishing and spraying the wheels and and you know scraping scraping the windshields and you know getting that last shine on it and you pull up an old army truck and you just get out and leave it as it is um, and of course i love to let kids climb on the truck which you know all the old fuddy duddies is a big no-no uh, around the classic cars and high-end cars so uh that just drives them nuts but guess what i'm not there for them i'm there for me and i'm there to enjoy and have fun so uh that's what i like to do at a show so uh we'll get packed up i know this was another quick episode it's crazy crazy summer and there's not a lot of projects going on at the moment um, but we will uh, get through some of these shows and stuff like that and I do appreciate all those guys that have stuck around watching through uh, these you know few recent episodes I know they're not the most exciting episodes but hey gotta have some filler here now and then I do appreciate you guys for following along uh, like always give us a like leave a comment hit the subscribe button you know tell me about uh the shows you go to what kind of reactions do you get at shows with your military vehicles um i always like to hear stories like that and then of course as always uh, check out the link down below in the description for the green iron tv merchandise store uh, be sure to go in check out all the cool things so i got all kinds of cool t-shirts uh t-shirts with the 715 the 725 a1s the m38 a1 jeeps uh, the deuce and a half um, So there's all kinds of cool designs and t-shirts with that stuff on it um, You know it makes it really nice uh, Really nice when you're uh, showing some pride for your uh, your vehicle at a show or just out and about so uh, We appreciate everybody that has taken the time to uh, grab something out of the merch store um, What little bit uh, of revenue we generate out of that is just 
uh, stuff that I use to keep these vehicles maintained, keep some gas in them and keep getting to shows and events and parades and stuff like that. So I do appreciate that. So thank you very much. And you guys, have a great day.